Let's face it, one vacation activity that can be a real budget buster, especially in a Target-rich environment like Disney World, is shopping. Especially souvenir shopping. Say hi, baby. Hi, baby. I recommend giving older children a budget for the week, saying you have X amount of money, spend it wisely. Not only will it keep your budget in check, but it's also a great lesson for them on how to budget their time and money. Want to see the mirror? Oh my goodness, who's that? You let your kids know that we're going to buy one thing and one thing only. And what's amazing about kids is it's between the $2 lollipop and the $50 dress. And they're like, oh, I don't know. Because to them, it's the thing, it's not the price. And you have to sit there and go, I hope it's the $2 lollipop. <laughs> you want to buy that one? Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Oh, I think this is it. You want to buy it? Let's go get it. Let's go get it. Come on. You just have to let your kids know at the very beginning that the treat, the prize, the everything is actually being here. Anything we get on top of that is gravy. Ooh, say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. There's so many things that you want to see and do and, and parents tend to overload the schedules. Remember, it's supposed to be fun. Give the kids some time to just run around and blow off steam every once in a while. If there's a downside to Disney, it's that it's so wonderful and overstimulating that chances are your kids will have a meltdown at least once during the trip because you can't not have a meltdown. Just the, the suggestion that you're going to leave. You see, it happens, <laughs> you know. Safe feeling, you're just sort of in your own world, <laughs> Disney world. Um, and, and that's nice, especially for a family vacation.